Welcome back to ATVN. The college football playoff committee has spoken, and the Pac-12 is tied with the SEC for the most teams in the top 25 rankings, with six teams apiece. The Trojans climbed seven spots this week after upsetting number four Washington last Saturday, jumping to number 13. Clemson and Michigan remained in the top four despite losses. Alabama remains in the top spot as well, as they are still undefeated and are the only team to be undefeated, while Ohio State climbed to the number two ranking. The season is not yet lost for the Trojans, who are getting ready for their historic crosstown rivalry match with the Bruins. While the Trojans are not in control of their own destiny, they still have a chance to win the Pac-12. But Coach Elton does not want his team thinking about that. We understand it's a special game for both universities as well as this city. I mean, we know how special this rivalry is, and we're honored to be a part of it. It's one of the better rivalries in the country and in the history of college football. The Trojans' offense has surged as of late, and that is thanks to redshirt freshman quarterback Sam Darnold, who sat down with sports scene's Alex Duplessis today to talk about what this game means to him. Fans are always getting ready for it, and they're, I just saw them outside. They're ready to go, and um, it's just going to be really fun. Um, it's going to be fun preparing for them, as always, and um, you know we're, we're really looking forward to it. This year, Darnold and the rest of the team will head to Pasadena to the Rose Bowl, where the Bruins will play host to the Trojans. Kickoff is set for 7.30 p.m. This week, the Baseball Writers Association of America have given out their awards. Tonight was the Cy Young Award, where the writers voted on the best pitcher from the National and American League. The 2016 National League Cy Young winner is Washington Nationals ace Max Scherzer, who is just the sixth player in MLB history to win, both the, win the award in both leagues. The AO winner is Boston Red Sox pitcher Rick Porcello, who finished with an astounding 22-4 record. Today, President Obama honored two Angelina sports legends, former Dodgers broadcaster Vince Gully and former Lakers center Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The two received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest honor a citizen can earn in the United States. And this year he's going to give it to you. Oh my gosh, no. Yes, so you've had... Are you, you sure? I mean, <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just that, an old baseball announcer. Well, listen, you've had a remarkable impact on the lives of generations of sports fans in this country. The two are joined by Michael Jordan, Bruce Springsteen, Tom Hanks, Ellen DeGeneres, and several others to receive the honor in 2016. The awards will be presented November 22nd. And you know, guys, that's just a great award. I'm happy all those people got it. Definitely. And Vince Kelly, of course, he has such a legacy here. So really happy to see that. Thanks so much, John.